Okay, let us see this when we have a lamina when it is satula. So, a uniform satula lamina of radius 10 cm has two satula holes cut out each with radius 2 cm. So, these satula holes were cut but each with radius 2 cm as shown in below. You see this one is the big sub of radius 10 cm and then this one it is having radius 2 cm. This is the y axis, this is the x axis. If one hole has its center at A, this one has its center at S, it's zero, and the other its center at negative 5, 2, 5, find the distance of the center of gravity of the remainder from the origin. Okay, let us first get the center of gravity. So now, you know this circle is going to be here. From here to here, it's 10 meaning it's at the origin. So, what we are going to do? We are going to first get, of course, the weight of this, this, and the wall which was used to cut out these two. But there, you need to get the weight, you get the area, so you need the area of these circles, then times the weight finds area. But you don't know the weight finds area of this one, so we are going to just bet there. So we say, let W be the weight per unit area of figures. So what I'm going to do, now I'm going to call this one, it's going to give me area 1, this one is going to give me area 2, and this one will give me area 3. So what I'm going to get, so area 1, you know that the circle is given by 5 R squared. The radius of the bead is from here up to here, from here up to here, which is 10. So 10, the whole square, which will give me 105 centimeters squared. So to get the weight, we need the weight. So to get the weight, we get the area of the figure, that is the weight by the area, which we say is W. So I'm going to get now 105 is area times W, and that's going to be our weight 1 for the bit. Then we come for area of the second. So area of the second is going to be 5, 2 squared. This is going to be 4, 5 centimeters squared. So the weight of the second is going to be 4, 5 down here. So now the weight of the second. So we come to this one, F3. It's still going to be 5, 2. Because the radius from here here is 2. It's going to be 4, 5 centimeters squared. So the weight of the third is going to be now 4, 5 times W. So after getting that, now we get the weight of the remainder. So weight of the remainder, we shall get now after cutting out this one. So we shall get the weight of the whole minus the weight of this we cut out. So weight of the remainder. Weight of remainder is going to be W1 minus W2 minus W3, which is going to be 105 minus 4, 5 minus 4, 5, W2, W. This is going to give us 92. That's the weight of the remainder. So it means that now this one has the weight acting at it there as W2. So even this one has the weight. Remember, the weight is acting in the center. And for example, the center of gravity is in the middle, as you can see there. So here I'm going to be having weight 3 acting there. And now this one, we are going to be having weight 1 acting there for this one, for the whole circle. So, how are we going to get now? Is that what we need to get a certain parameter? We need the weight and where that weight is active, or you need the mass and where that mass is active. So, we start this at the center. So, it means that the weight is active in the smoke at the center there of a circle. So, because this is the center, they are giving us the centers as you see. The centers of A and B are those ones. So, it means that the weight is going to act here and the weight is acting here. So, 
through the year to the centers, private the centers of the cost, where are given. And where these centers are is where the center of gravity, their center of gravity is at. For example, as simple as that. Why do we say that? Because we have the x-axis and the vertical axis, meaning from here up to here, we have six units. Then from, from the x-axis, it's zero. I mean, vertical is zero. When we come to this, from here up to here, it's going to be negative, so because we are moving to the negative side. Then from here up there, we are going to be having five. From the axis we are studying, as simple as that. So we have the centers of gravity and the way we have the weights. So everything is going to be there. But the center of gravity, for, so the, the center of gravity for this power is here at zero, zero. But the center of gravity, so here the center of gravity of the one you see. So G1 is going to be at 0, 0. So G2 is going to be from here up to here we have 6, 0. Because we are basing on this axis. So then G3 is going to be at negative 2, comma 5. This one is having weight 1. This one is having weight 2. This one is having weight 3. So how do we get the center of gravity of the remainder? Y bar, we are going to get W1. And then the coordinates where that weight is, then minus W2, this remain these things we cut out. So X2, Y2, minus W3, X3, Y3. Now all over W1 minus W2 minus W3. So putting them into the formula, our x bar, y bar, is going to be w1 is going to be 105 w. Where is it acting? It's acting at 0, 0. Because the center of gravity for this is at 0, 0 of the whole. Then minus w2, which is 4 pi, w acting at 6, 0. Then minus 4 pi. W acting at negative 2, 5. So all divided by the subtract these ones, get 92, 5, W. So this is common, this is common, this is common, and this is common. So when you simplify that, we are going to be having up. You see this is 0, then we have 24. This is going to be negative 24. Minus, minus to give us 8, and that will give us negative 16. Okay, so when you turn down, we have 0, 0, so this one is going to give us negative 20. Now all we are dividing with 9, 2, this one here. So our x bar there, our x bar, y bar is going to be, now we are having negative 16 over 9, 2. Then negative 20 over 92, which is going to be, when you simplify that, you give it to a fraction. So this one is going to be negative 4 over 23. And then down to this, it's going to be negative 5 over 23. So meaning the center of gravity, x bar, y bar, is going to be at negative 4 over 23, comma, negative 5 over 23, which is, so this is the center of gravity. But the one that is from the origin, you see that this one, our center of gravity is this side. So that is where it is. So it means that to get a distance from here to the origin, or if the one has to get this distance. Let me first clean that where my master is. Okay, my nanas. Okay, so this is where we're going to be having now our center of gravity is. So if I'm put it there, of course this is we say the area one. So from here we are handing with us now our X bar. Y bar. So to get a distance from the origin there, to start we shall just use, we get this square, so this is the distance we want to be. 
So we are going to square the x component and then the y component with this. Therefore, d from the origin distance from origin is going to be the square root of we square the x component. going to be so that's how I'm getting is zero point two seven eight four and they are giving us seven and seventy meters. So So that's it on this question there. So that's how we get that. So how do the idea was how do we get a distance from here to here? If it's from the origin, it's that we are going to just use Pythagoras theorem. This is the longest theorem. We square this, then plus the square of that with this. So that's it. I wish you well.